We've covered a lot of ground in these videos. Hopefully this is a whole lot of new information that you've not heard before. Maybe you know about traditional perspective drawing and this is sort of a new way of approaching things. I know when I learned this in art school, it changed everything for me. It really allowed me to just sort of loosely sketch in perspective and it worked. It became practical. So if you want to get better at this stuff, I'd practice just drawing basic shapes. Maybe get out a grid from the resources folder and just start drawing cubes. And then once you get comfortable drawing cubes on a grid, try drawing cubes with no grid. You could either do this on the computer or maybe just with a pencil and paper. Drawing basic shapes in this way will just help you internalize those perspective rules. And honestly, one really helpful thing to get better at perspective is just being able to draw straight lines. Drawing from your wrist is really not going to allow you to do this, but if you can have a stiff wrist and draw from the elbow and shoulder, being able to draw long straight lines is really helpful when you're doing perspective. Either way, over the course of this series, you've seen the basic skills. Now sure, there are a lot of advanced perspective techniques that I'm not going to cover because I don't find them to be terribly practical. Sometimes they're necessary, but in your average drawing, the rules we've gone through are pretty much all you need. Now, once you feel comfortable using these rules, I encourage you to try out the second perspective sketching series. It's in that series that I'm going to take all the rules we've talked about and show them combined, show them in action. We'll look at characters and creatures, environments, Everything follows the same rules. But I think it's nice to just sort of see how it all fits together. So that series is not going to review the rules. We've already talked about the rules. But instead, we're going to talk about practical ways to combine those rules and sort of create real-world drawings. And whether or not you check out that series, thank you for buying this series. It really helps support the site, and it allows me to keep making the great free videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So I appreciate your support, and I wish you good luck on your drawing. Have fun painting, guys. Thanks for coming to controlpaint.com.